Welcome to this session for Algebra 2 on Foundations for Inequalities. And what we're looking at doing today is determining whether an ordered pair is a solution to a linear inequality, draw graphs of linear inequalities on a number line, write inequalities that represent a set of numbers graphed on a number line. So the, our first question here is determine whether the open sentence is true for the given ordered pair. So what we're asked to do is take this open sentence, x minus 3y less than 5. And we're going to take this ordered pair and see if when we substitute it in for x and for y, we get a true statement. So I'm going to be substituting this one in for the x and the negative one in for the y. And remember, this is multiplication between the 3 and the y, so I want to make sure I write it as multiplication when I fill the negative one in. So I, I will have 1 minus 3 times negative 1 less than 5. And important here that you do not do 1 minus 3. We have to follow our order of operations and do the multiplication first. So I will be taking 3 times negative 1, which is a negative 3. So I'll have 1 minus negative 3. And 1 minus negative 3 will be 1 plus 3, which is a 4. So I compare this to my 5. Is 4 less than 5? Yes. So this is a true statement. And this ordered pair makes our open sentence true. We're going to do the same thing for this one. This time we'll be substituting the 7 in for the x and the 2 thirds in for the y. So we will have 4 times 7 minus 3 times 2 thirds greater than or equal to negative 2. So I'm going to multiply 4 times 7, which will give me 28. I'm going to multiply the negative 3 or the minus 3 times 2 thirds which will give me a minus 2. And 28 minus 2 is 26, and that is greater than or equal to negative 2. So this also is, this order pair does also make this open sentence true. All right, moving on. Graph on a number line, x less than 4. This is the less than symbol. So when I graph this on a number line, I'm going to put a 0 and a 4 on here. I'm doing x less than 4. So less than means I have the open circle. Let's use yellow here. I have the open circle. And since I want numbers that are less than 4, I'm going to the left to get the numbers that are less than 4. And I have to do the open circle because it's the less than symbol. If it were less than or equal to, then it would be a closed circle on the 4. And last but not least, graph on the number line x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0. So x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0, I first have to solve um, for x by adding 3 to both sides. And that gives me x greater than or equal to 3. And I'm going to graph that on the number line. And I will have, we'll put 0 and 3 on here. And we want numbers that are greater than or equal to 3. So I'm going to have a closed circle on 3 because it's greater than or equal to. And I'm moving to the right because I want numbers that are greater than or equal to 3. And that ends the session on foundations.